In this video, I will show you how to use Net, uh, Notepad++ to create your first Java application. So Notepad++ is a text editor, which is also source code editor with syntax highlighting, which allows you to learn the syntax of different languages like Java. However, it is not a development environment, so it does not allow you to compile and to build your Java application. So in this video, I will show you how to use it in order to build your own application. In fact, there are two methods to compile your Java application using Notepad. So let's start with the first one. So first of all, I will create a simple Java class. Let's call it main class. So I have already prepared the source code, which is this one. As you can see, now the text is not highlighted because this file is not saved yet, so let's save it. So I will create a new folder and I will call it Java project. And inside this folder, I will save this new file, but it will be called like the class name, which is main class, followed by the Java extension. As you can see, now the source code is highlighted because it is saved into a Java uh, file. So in order to compile this file, let's go to run, then run, and here let's type cmd. As you can see, I obtain this window which allows me to compile my source code. However, this uh, cmd is not located at the good location. This is not the location of my Java class. So I will not use this window, I will just close it and I will go to this class name and with a right click I will go to open containing folder in CMD. Now a new window, a new window is opened and it is located at the same location of my class. So here, first of all, I should be sure that I already have installed the Java GDK on my machine. To check this, I will type java minus, minus version. And as you can see, I have already installed the Java GDK, so I can uh, compile, I can build my class, and I can, can run it. So to build this class, I will use the compiler, which is called Java C, followed by the class name and the uh, extension. So I will provide the class name, which is main class, dot java then let's hit enter since i don't have any error there is no error here so let's see what we obtain now into the folder that contains my class so this is my class and this is the binary file which has the extension dot class let's go back to this window and now I want to execute my Java class so I will call the Java virtual machine which is called Java followed by the class name without the extension this time and as you can see this is the output so this is the first method to build and run your Java application now let's see the second method so let's exit this window and let's go back to notepad plus plus so the second method will be to install a new plugin called npp exec so let's go to plugins then plugin admin and here i want to install a new plugin called npp exec so i should find it in this list this is it so I have to select it, then install. So let's click on yes. Now it is installed and a new button has been added here, which allows me to see this console. So now from this console, I should be sure that I'm located at the good location, which is the location of this class. So let's type CD to see where I am. And currently I'm not at the good location so I should move to the good location which is the location of this class so I have to type CD followed by the path of this class which is all of this path but this is not very practical I can use a variable called current directory 
like this so I have to type dollar followed by parentheses then current directory and as you can see the current directory is the directory of my class so now I can compile this class so I will call java c followed by the class name and the extension of the, of the file so main class dot java so I, I am able to compile this class now let's run it so I will call the java uh, executable followed by the class name without the extension of the file and here I have the, the output now this is a method to use this console but I can use this console in another way so I can go to plugins then npp exec then execute and in this window I can provide the instructions that I want to execute the commands that I want to execute so as I said the first command is to uh, build the class so to build the class I said I should use uh, java c followed by the class name but I want that this script becomes useful for all the java classes not only for this class so instead of providing the name of the class I will provide a variable called file name which will be replaced by the file name and in this case I can use this uh, executable window with any class name so let's use this variable which is called file name and here I can use the code completion and I can select this value then after Java C I said I want to call Java also followed by the class name but here I don't need to provide the extension so I should not provide the file name variable there is another variable called name part so let's use it this is it and like this I can use these two commands with any class not only with this class so but before saving this it is necessary to be sure that this script will be executed at the same folder of the class that's why the first command should be cd followed by the path of the class so I will still use the variable current directory and that's all so let's save this so if I click on ok these commands will be executed and this is the output that I, that I expect however if I do a mistake here so for example I will do a mistake now here let's save this file so if I compile this file it will not succeed and I will obtain an error however the binary file the previous binary file still exists so the follow the last command will execute the last binary file which is not what I want in fact if I try to run the previous script like this this command will fail due to the error however this command will still uh, be executed because I still have the binary file so let's try this to see what happens and here as you can see I have some errors due to this mistake that I did however I still have the output which is the output of the previous binary file so to fix this I can go to plugin then npp exec then execute and here after exec after compiling the class I will add uh, a condition so this is the condition if I have an error so I will use the variable called exit code and that this value is different than, z than zero because if exit code is zero this means that I don't have any error However, if it is different than zero, this means that I have an error. Then I have to go to the next line and to type exit. And I have to go to the next line and to type end if. 
so let's see what will happen now if I execute this script I still have the error so let's see what will happen as you can see I have some errors so I will exit the execution of the uh, compiling script now let's create let's correct this error let's save the file let's run the script again to check that it works if I don't have any error so okay this time I don't have any error that's why I executed the binary file and this is the output now let's create a new class uh, in the same folder of this class and let's call it main frame which allows us to create a frame so let's do this and here I will make a copy of a source code that I have already prepared I will save this uh, file into the same folder of the previous uh, Java class and I will provide it the name of the class which is main main frame of course it is a Java class so the extension is .java let's save this and now what happened here is that I will I will create a class called main frame which is of type G frame I will provide it with a title with a size and once I click on the close button the application should be stopped and I will make this window visible so if I try to run the previous script with this class let's see what will happen execute so let's click on OK so here the building of this class uh, occurred successfully because I don't have any error however when I try to run this class I have this error because I don't have any main uh, method inside this class so I will not uh, use this class from this class I will go to main class and in the main method I will create a class uh, I will create an object of type main frame let's call it my frame and then I will call the init method of this object so let's save this file and let's run it as you can see I obtained this uh, frame with uh, this title and now the application is still running so if I click on this button the application will be stopped so let's click on this close button and as you can see the application is now stopped so as you can see this is how we can use notepad plus uh, plus with java so I can close this console from here or from here so let's close it from here I can click on this button to show the console I can click on it an another time to hide the console so this is how we can use notepad plus plus with java as i said notepad plus plus is very good to start learning java but it is not the best uh, editor to create your java applications because it does not allow you to show the errors for example if i go to this class and i make or let's go to this class and if i make some errors here this error is not uh, underlined so it is not easy to correct it also if I provide the name of this uh, object followed by dot I don't have the suggestion of the methods and the variables that I can use which is a limitation of notepad plus plus with Java so if you want to create advanced Java applications I advise you to use one of these four IDEs which are very good and to start uh, using these IDEs I will provide you with uh, the video links in the description finally I hope that you find this video useful and please subscribe to the channel